twisted vegetables are fascinating, but on reflection, I think mirrors are just as interesting. Look at these. Two mirrors, two reflections. Do you think it would ever be possible using just two mirrors to get more than two images? Well, of course it would, provided you bring those two mirrors closer together. Have a look at this. I'll take a matchbox and put it between the two mirrors. And right now you can see just two reflections, one in each mirror. But if I angle those mirrors around closer to one another, we now see four reflections as well as the original matchbox. And if I bring them even closer together, and if I tuck the matchbox right back there in the corner, you can see the original box plus one, two, three, four, five, six, or parts of six reflections. But that's about the limit with those mirrors. However, you get interesting things happening if you get two straight mirrors and put them almost parallel with one another. The sort of thing that happens sometimes in a barber shop or a hairdresser's shop. Look at this. We have a sort of tunnel of images looking all the way down there. Lots and lots of them getting dimmer as they recede into the distance. It's difficult to count them, but if you have something bright, it helps. Let's take this candle flame. I'll now put that in the position between the two mirrors. Light travels in straight lines, backwards and forwards between the mirrors. How many images can you see? I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve images. Why don't you take two mirrors and a candle flame and see if you can get more than twenty images. Mm -hmm.